Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. The city's decorated up for Christmas. All the stores are open late tonight. People hurry through the frozen streets. I take a walk. Every child has a thousand wishes. Every window has a thousand lights. Every soul has a need for peace. I take a walk. There's a star that still thou shines the night. You can find it if you close your eyes and see the light. Take a walk through Bethlehem. Come and kneel before the Lamb. Good news for every man. Walk through Bethlehem. Every night another TV special. Merchants counting down the shopping days, but something's missing underneath the tree. I take a walk. Mm, Cause every heart longs for more than tinsel, something more than just a holiday. Come and celebrate the baby king. Let's take a walk. You don't have to travel anywhere. Faith and hope and love will bring you there. Will bring you there. Take a walk through Bethlehem. Come and kneel before the Lamb. Good news for every man. Walk through Bethlehem. Take a walk through Bethlehem, come and kneel before the Lamb. Good news for every man, walk through Bethlehem, come and kneel before the Lamb. Come and kneel before the Lamb. Good news for every man. Walk through Bethlehem. Hi, besties. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy, and today is Shopping Saturday. We have a Dollar Tree haul for you. That happens to be one of my all-time favorite Christmas songs. I only found it a couple of years ago, but it's by Trisha Yearwood, and it's called Take a Walk Through Bethlehem. It's just really... Yeah, it's a great song. I love that song. So hopefully you'll look it up because it's really good. Um, all right, I have a haul for you. So this is a little bit different though than normal. I literally went to, it was um, Thursday. So today's Saturday. So basically two days ago after our Christmas party, I went to a Dollar Tree that I'd never been before. I took the husband and we went in there and did some shopping so I would have a haul. But I also had to get stuff for gift baskets that I'm giving for um, my guys at work next week. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna tell you. This shopping trip cost me $155. So I thought, I'm just gonna show you what I get for $155. Because that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot to go, to go and see. I just realized something's in the fridge though. Hold on, because this isn't gonna be on there. He bought, he found his Oh snap, oh dillies, um, the dilly bites, which he absolutely loves these. They're a dollar, obviously the Dollar Tree, everywhere else. If you go to a gas station or in, in the grocery stores or whatever. Oh, he just got up out of bed to tell me, cause I'm filming this at night, that he already put some pickles and tuna fish in the car. <laughs> because we bought some stuff to take uh, with us camping. I guess it's already gone. It's not in my haul, but that's okay. I'll tell you about it. So I think he got like um, eight of these. Um, he loves those. He likes those in his lunches. 
All right, so he got some pickles. I found, what else did we get? Then I got a bunch of these pickles, which these are the Van Holten hot pickles. These are like $1.99 to get the regular grocery store. He also loves these for his lunch. It's like his go-to snack right now, pickles are, because there's like no calories in them. I mean, this has zero calories. I should just eat pickles all day long. And these are the hot and spicy ones. So he literally has a box. A box. Okay. So he bought himself a box of pickles. You see how we got to 155 bucks? So in here, there's like two, four, six, eight, ten. There was 12 because I know he ate one. <laughs> I know he already ate one. All right. So there's these pickles. <laughs> there, was a, there was a lot of food on this one, actually. But part of that's because I'm doing gift baskets that I'm throwing food into. Abingham, did you say Merry Christmas to everybody today? Merry Christmas. Mmm. Merry Christmas to you too, Abingham. All right, so we got pickles. And then I decided I was gonna make little um, gift baskets for my guys at work. So I got these. I love the size of these. I think these are so cute. I made a hanging like um, vegetable holder thing with them last year or this year sometime. Anyway, so I got these to put the gift baskets together in. So there's six of these, but I'm gonna leave one out because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. So there was $6 just in those, right? <laughs> like, yeah, $12 in pickles, another $8 in pickles, $6 in baskets. See how fast it adds up? Like when you're going in to do something like this. Okay, so some of the things that I got for the baskets were, I got them little food baskets and then I think I'm gonna put like a little, um, a scratch off lotto or ticket or something in it. Okay, so these are recent. These are a good name brand and they're chewy chocolate, caramel covered in rich European chocolate. So of course I got six of those because those are gonna go in the basket, right? Now we got another $6 worth of stuff. I mean, when he's going and you're buying multiples like that, it adds up pretty quickly. I'm not pulling this out in any order either because they're just like showing, I'm just showing what he got. He found these again, so he got them again because he loves these, these hot sauces. He absolutely loves them. Like everything I cook, he's putting them on. And I made um, I made a scrambled eggs the other day with, um, what did they have in them? Oh, I had leftover. Anyway, we froze a bunch of stuff after the wedding, so I pulled out some veggies and stuff. Anyway, I made, for, um, okay, so it's to to see to tzatzi sauce, to tzatzi. That sounds weird. Whatever the sauce is in the euros. So we had a bunch of that left over. Well, it's like sour cream. So I put it and mixed it with eggs and scrambled it. It's so good. And then, and then like throw in cheese and um, some euro meat, which sounds really weird, but it's super good. And then he throws hot sauce on it and it's really, really good. There, there you go. You guys, you didn't need to know that, but now you do. Um, all right, so he loves that hot sauce. So he saw it, so he bought more. And that's not like an incredibly good buy when you think about it, right? Because it's not that big a bottle, but that's okay. All right, then for my guys at work, I also bought them a thing of planter's peanuts. So you see what I'm doing? It's like a little gift food basket for them here. So they're all getting a little planter's peanuts. Again, it's a name brand, so I'm filling this basket up with little name brand goodies. So there was another $6, right, in my planter's peanuts. But, I mean, they're gonna be cute little baskets. And when I'm done, I'll tell you how much I spent on each one of them and how cute it's gonna look. Okay, so I hauled this the other day and um, I hauled it again. So when I walked in, I was like, oh, I'm getting that for their baskets. And there was three different kinds. So I'm not gonna be able to find them all right this second. So the first one is the Moose Crunch, the classic caramel. So I already hauled this last week but I went back so I could get it to throw into their baskets. So this one is classic caramel. They're all getting that. So there were six more dollars, right? I mean, it starts adding up fast, too, like that. Then there is the milk chocolate. So they all, they're all getting that in their little basket. And then the dark chocolate. Now you guys, these are Harry and David. These are a brand name that's food basket. Like, do they still do it? 
You used to be able to go into like in the mall at Christmas time and there would be a Harry and David store. Do you guys remember that? And you could go in and pick stuff out and make your own gift basket. Do they still do that? I don't even know. I don't really go to malls anymore. What's wrong with me? Just realize something's wrong with me. Could I not go to malls anymore? Because I'm busy. Okay, but anyway, and I do Dollar Tree hauls. Now, I don't go to the malls, I just go to Dollar Trees. So I grabbed six of these. So they each are getting one each of the caramel, the regular, and the dark chocolate. They're milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and caramel. So they're all getting that in their little basket, which I think is super good because it's like, remember what I taught you guys when doing a basket, always put your food to the top. If it's in the basket better than you get fuller bags on the top. <laughs> um, anyway, so I think this is good. Like it's just, it's like a fun little basket full of, you know, like goodies. Goodies that we don't normally buy ourselves. Okay, let's see. Oh, I bought myself a headband. Because it was a nice black one. I already have a headband on, but anyway. So I bought that. What else did I buy? I gotta move the stuff that I've already shown you. Listen, I gotta tell you though, that Moose Crunch is such an incredibly good buy and such a good food basket item. So if you find that, I would pick it up. I'm finding the rest of the Moose Crunch and moving it. Okay, then I grabbed beef jerky. So this is teriyaki original beef jerky like what guy doesn't like that all my co-workers are, are guys so they're all that's that's what i'm saying that um so the beef jerky also another brand name jack links right well there's another six dollars but i got extras of these for um marcus for his lunch six seven there's like eight or something here right now okay and i found one book but i gotta tell you this book Hold on, I'm sorting while I'm, while I'm talking to you, I'm sorting. I'm super excited about this book and I'm actually gonna read it. I don't read books very often, but I was like, oh. So, first of all, I saw it and it's a small book and it's a little hardback, right? But, but, but look at the cover. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Like I could do so many craft things. Like just, if you took this and anyway, I don't know, there's so many things. I'm not even gonna go into that. But then I was like, I wonder what this book is about. So then I read, where did I read it? An Unlikely Tale of Survival During the Holoca Holocaust. It succeeds where many have failed. So I was like, ooh, it says the most precious of cargoes. So I want to read it. I don't know. I'm not for sure. It says set during the height of World War II, a powerful and unsettling tale about a woodcutter and his wife who finds a mysterious parcel thrown from a passing train. Anyway. It's a very short read, and so I was like, ooh, I'm, I'm gonna read it, and then I'll probably put it in my, you know, pile of books to decorate, which I was gonna do this fall and didn't. I got married instead, okay, guys. Then I found, oh my gosh, that's right. I found these. Do you know what these are? These are like little mini fruit cakes. <laughs> and so I thought, I'm gonna, I was like, I'm gonna like put them in a couple of the gift baskets that I'm doing. I just thought it's so cute. Like this little mini fruit thing. These are good until 6.30 of 22. And this is, I don't know how you say it, Bad Baduco, but it's a name brand uh, fruitcake company. And it's really interesting. The secret ingredient which makes Panettone so fluffy and delicious is the mother dough that Mr. Baduco brought from Italy in 1950s as part of our traditional 52 hour process to make each Loaf, our bakers save a bit of this mother dough every day to mix in tomorrow's batch, which is create, which is what creates our Panettone special flavor. It's really cool. Anyway, those are still, so I picked up three of those. I just grabbed three of those just to have, to throw in other gift baskets that I'm doing. So what, when we were there, Marcus was like, I was like, hey, just why don't you look through movies and I'll go down this aisle. Because we got done with the Christmas party, we went to this Dollar Tree did I say I'd never been to this one before? If I didn't, oh my God, it was another one I'd never been to because it was kind of a ways away. And um, he goes, well, I don't want to look at the movies. I go, but we're going home to watch a movie. Maybe there'll be something really good in there. This is what he puts in the cart. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 movies. We did already watch two of them. He was watching one while I was crafting tonight and then 
We watched the first one before we went. This one's really funny. This one, Masterminds, it's a true story about the largest um, armored truck heist ever. It was $17 million. Done by idiots. But anyway, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. So, 12 movies. Jeez, now we're getting closer to that 155, huh? Okay, um, and then we do have some tuna packets because they had some different flavored tuna packets up there. I think you probably spent maybe 6 or $7 on that. And something else you put in there. Oh, and some other, and some pickles, more of the pickles, like pickle galore. Okay, so I'm keep going here. Ba -ba -da -da. Then um, I decided that I would also throw in the teriyaki, Jack Link's teriyaki. So I picked up like quite a few of those, more than six. I think I picked up like eight of these. I might have picked up ten each of the of the of the jerkies because I was putting them in the basket and then some for his, for Marks's lunch or, you know, you know, like a snack. And then, uh, two packages of the pretzels. These are so good because we had some hummus and I was like, we need to eat up that hummus. And so grab these, like, well, we'll have a snack while we're watching our movies. So we grabbed two of these. So this one is really good and it's the, um, garlic and Parmesan, but I got last week I had somehow I had everything ones. And I don't know, um, they were, I don't know how I got them. But anyway, oh, maybe the kids bought them when they were here and they'd been sitting around. So I finally opened them and I was like, oh my gosh, those are so good. And these are too, I should do it on a Foodie Friday because you guys, these are really, really good. So there was two packages of those. More popcorn and more crunch munch and beef jerky. <laughs> there was a lot of that. Because I was making the baskets. Then I needed blue dots desperately. So I grabbed two packages of the blue dots. And I don't think I've tried these before. Um, but it says strong bond, permanent dots. I don't even know. There's 36 in here. And I don't know who makes them. It doesn't say on here. I guess it doesn't really matter. Blue dots is a registered trademark of US. Oh, it's a registered trademark. Blue Dots, well, I guess it's a name brand then, isn't it? Interesting. Well, I'll let you know if they work better than the Dollar Tree Dots. You know, the Crafter Square Dots don't work super well. But, yeah, oh well. Um, then another glue that I've never seen before, which is this one here. I thought there's, I did get two packages of Blue Dots. Then I saw this glue, which is Bostic Smart Adhesive Multipurpose Adhesive for crafts, wood, paper, and fabric. So this is a multi-purpose adhesive, and it has two different, it's got a dual applicator, so you could do really small, you could do roll, and I was like, ooh, I wanna try that. Um, and this is definitely not green briar, green briar. It's, I don't know, but it's some, it's made in Korea. It's some brand name. It's not normal to Dollar Tree. So it's something I've never seen, seen before. So I thought, well, I'm going to try that. There was another one. And I, I don't know where the other one is, but there was another glue stick by them that I picked up. I thought. But maybe not. Okay. So the pepperoni sticks, which we bought more than this. I think you threw some in for the property trip tomorrow. These are really good. I love these. I bought them last time I went. Oh, no. Here they are. Oh, these are lunches. So buy these for lunches. So there's like 10 in here. So there was another $10, right? And just food stuff. And here's the other glue. I did buy another glue. So this one is fine and wide clear glue. So look at the two. They both of them have like this dual applicator, which I think is really cool. And I love their packaging. <laughs> their packaging is really cool. Um, so I don't know. They even have a hotline. Bostic hotline. So fine and wide, and this is just, it's a clear glue, but this one says it's for crafts. So we'll see. I'll give it a go. Why not? Um, oh, some Christmas tags, because for my cute little basket that I have here, I'm gonna put a cute Christmas tag on the front of them. So this is basically, I think I have all the food now. So this is basically what these are gonna be. Just a cute little, Cute little Christmas food basket for the guys. 
And then I am going to put a lottery ticket in here too. I'll get like a Christmas lottery ticket and then a cute little um, tag on the very front of it. Cute. That's kind of cute, don't you think? So I think they'll like it. Just a sweet little gift to my guys just to say, you know, Merry Christmas. So when I, for these, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bucks to put this. I don't think that's too bad actually. And then of course they get a cute little wire basket. They don't want it. I'll say I'll take your wire basket if you don't want it. They go. Okay. This is new. Have you seen these before, you guys? It's a stocking, but it's a shark. Okay, they had two colors. They had this teal and they had the gray. I ended up getting the teal because I think I'm going to make it a pillow. <laughs> now, hear me out. I had a couple ideas. I'm like, I feel like I could just totally stuff this and make it a pillow to be a super cute little pillow for like out by the pool. But the other thing I thought about, it would be so funny to put it onto a shirt. Like, oh no, wait. How cute would it be to make a bib for a baby out of it? Like a baby bib. I don't know. Um, but my first thought was to make a pillow, and I think that would actually be so cute. Like a super cute little high end looking pillow. Yeah. Probably what I'm going to do. Oh no, I dropped my tag. And then. Um, this little doohickey, well, first of all, I bought these before, but I bought them again because I'm going to do a little gift basket. Let's take one of my baskets again and I put them away. But anyway, they had all of these and I was like, oh, I'm giving these to somebody. I don't know who, but I will. Um, Bargain Mama hauled these little jams and jellies, I think. And um, also I want them for crafting because I think they're so cute. Okay, so this is Mrs. Miller's. I, I hauled one. I only found one, but then I found them all today. So they have seedless blackberry jam. They have peach jam. They have strawberry jam. Sorry if those are blurry, but, and then they have hot pepper jelly. That sounds really good. I've made that actually. And they have seedless red, did I get two seedless red raspberries? I think I did. No. I didn't, no, nope. and then see this red raspberry. So, those are so cute. This is a super cute little make a tower kind of thing you could do. I love these, they're just really cute. And then I found these. Little miniature Nutella. So I thought, I was like, I picked up the little mini toasts, because, which are all broken. Oh, that's so, I probably did that. But I thought, how cute would it be just to do like a little gift basket with all these little spreads for like little mini toasts, like little mini jams for mini toasts. And maybe, oh, you know, be cute. Maybe I could do it with a mini, with, yes. Isn't that cute? That's kind of cute, right? So the mini fruitcake, the mini toast, and all the little mini Nutella and jams and all that. So that will be uh, some gift basket that I'm doing. Next week, I have to put all my gift baskets together for everybody. Okay, so I did snag all of those. Now, is that a good buy for a dollar? I mean, honestly, no, but the cuteness factor is worth it. <laughs> I was like, that's so cute. Just this little miniature. It's good until July of 22. Just this little miniature Nutella. Oh, so cute. Okay, and then, um, Oh, I found these and I'm doing a gnome wreath. And so this is what, that's exactly what I got these for. They're, they're card holders. Card holders. So then I also thought, you know how they sell the earmuffs there? See the earmuffs? Anyway, I can't do it. I don't want to open this right now. But how you could take these and put them onto an earmuff. It'd be so cute to have a gnome on each ear. Nobody home. <laughs> can't hear you. Um, but I bought them to put on my gnome wreath that I'm making just over there somewhere. So I'm going to throw it that way. There we go. It's on there now. And then the, then in the, um, like a school, you know, the office supply area, they have this, which I've never seen this before. And it's called a tablet stand, which I have my tablet right here. I have a humongous iPad. Um, but like, actually this would be perfect because I'm always setting it up to, to, with the lyrics for when I open my videos. So that's nice, but that's not what I bought it for. <laughs> I pile things up to put my, 
I bought it because I absolutely love the pattern that's on it. And I was like, oh my gosh. It's gonna make the cutest, cutest planter when I put two together. It's gonna be so boho planter when I put these two together, right? Isn't that cute? Then I was thinking like, I could put it together like this. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. So glue it all together. I'll get it glued together and then, where's my, where's my? I was like, I probably could run rope right up in this seam right here. Be cute. Anyway, so that's what I got them for. To throw into my stash to make something with after Christmas. <laughs> and then the final thing was I've never seen these before. And so obviously I picked them up when I found them. There's one missing. Here it is. And I think these are really cute. And they are the, they're a light up. Mm, light. Lights, camera, action. Well, if it would light up. No, did I get a bummer one? I hate it when that happens. I might have. That one doesn't want to work. Let's try this one. I don't like trying them in the store because it, it when I don't want to, like, there's no way. Oh, no, this one's lit. But you guys can't even see it. But anyway, it's lit. So it's changed. They're color changing. I have different. I have different lights. So these are the three. What they are? Aren't those cute? Like if you were gonna have a holiday party, you could put these like out on your walkway to walk up to your house because they look like the lit up. Um, you know, you know the um, bags. What do they call them? I can't think. Anyway, um, so that's what they look like. Luminaire, luminaries, lum, lumin, yeah. Luminaries, yeah, I think that's it. I don't know. Anyway, but these would be so cute, right? Because you could just put them up your walkway. All right, so they have the Santa, the Toho ho ho and they have Merry Christmas. This one's my least favorite. I think it's boring. Um, and then they have the snowman, which I think he's kind of cute. But actually, my favorite is Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. So, yeah, those are brand new. I have not seen them before. Maybe you guys have. Maybe they've been held before. I told you I'm not watching that many. I'm not watching any hauls really right now because I don't have time. But, um, okay. That was my haul. That was my $155 haul. It wasn't even full of, like, fun stuff. It was, like, a lot of food. But it was also Christmas shopping. So I was getting those gifts for my guys next week. And, um, which is this. So it's going to be cute. So if you think about it, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times six is... $52 so $52 of it was that and then at least $25 of it was pickles I know $12 of it was movies <laughs> yeah another $10 was was um beef jerky I didn't even buy any beverages like normally when my tickets that high it's because like I buy a lot of beverages nope none mm -mm. all right guys that was it that was your haul that was a quick one that was really quick but it was $155 one so but it was quick so, uh, new things. I mean, I got to say, though, I do absolutely love this. He's so cute. I love these. I can't wait to make a boho planter out of it. And I do like the little luminaries. luminaries. What do they call them? LED wood lantern. Okay. Anyway, I do like those as well. So, all right. So, everybody, have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Don't forget, later on today will be day, what day are we going to be? I think it will be day 18 of my 25 days of Christmas. So you get two videos today. All right, guys, enjoy. I'm off camping, having a great time. So I will see you back here tomorrow for day 19. Oh, no, I'll see you back here later today for day 18 and tomorrow for day 19. So confusing. Okay. Bye, besties. I will see you later. Yeah? All right. Thanks for watching.